Good morning, girls. Well, today, no eyeshadow. I'm going to be doing yard work, yard work, but you might want to see how I do it. And uh, this is Connie over 70, and let's get to it. So yesterday I had another beef bowl that I made for myself. And today, at 12.30 in the afternoon, my first meal is broccoli, steamed rice, cherry tomatoes, and my ginger. Mm -hmm. No meat on this meal. Probably later. I wanted to do this while the ground is nice and soft. And, uh, you know, I weeded this, it seemed like last month, and all of a sudden I got weeds everywhere. So, uh, here we go. So here we go. Put my yard gloves on. How you bought this? I don't like it. The old way. Just when everybody's thinking we're going to have a horrible drought, the Lord brings rain. I'll take the dirt off of it so it's not so heavy. Just like that. We're going to do one section of the yard today. So what do you girls do on when it's cold after a rain? Used to go to a movie, but not too many good movies anymore. this way much better. Some of these weeds look like rosemary, but they're not. This is why I like to do what I call my rice paddy squats. Just relax like this. Later on I'll get a little bench or something. Let's actually sit down.
and as you can see that goes by pretty quick now i left this next now i left this next part in so you could have a good laugh while you're sitting there home while it's raining outside <laughs> so what i did here was i stacked two uh flower pots didn't do that the first time. Let me get another one. Thank God I didn't fall on those stones with my behind, right? Well, I'm gonna leave that blooper in because I think it's hilarious. <laughs> and I got a real, a little stool. Now, what do I do with my... another reason why you want to make sure your bones and everything are strong in case you have a fall on your butt. to show my husband that. He's such a busy guy running a business that he does all the work on. He doesn't got time to stop and look at my videos, but I'll make him watch this one. Okay, I'm over. I'm over here. Even though it's a little gloomy out here, it's not cold. Let me go back over here. Some alongside the patio. Now the only ones that I don't pull out are the ones that I use for my spices. Now take one out so you can see it. It's just starting to grow and that's what it looks like. Mm hmm And I'll rinse that off in the house and eat it later. Okay. Take out the dry leaves. You know, it's, it's amazing as you're doing the weeding, how you see all the different uh, colors and shapes, you know, leaf formations. It's pretty awesome.
still haven't decided what I'm going to do with this backyard. Everything you see is what I put out here after we tore the old patio apart. And I'm hoping you're going to be able to at least hear me a little bit. What I'll do is lower the camera like this. My cell phone, actually. Okay. So we got some big ones over here. here that I'm doing is a section that I see out my bedroom window. So uh, now I'll go right directly out my family room window. Here we go. Ooh. I got some big ones over here. Understand if you gotta say goodbye now, because this is not very exciting stuff. And I do want to get this done. We yanked that one, yeah. And uh, move on. Getting some good uh, leg workout. Some of these I can actually just pull out with my hands. So we got a big one right here. I guess the ground wasn't quite wet enough for that one. So oh, I'll wait. I want to work hard, but not that hard. Here we go. Didn't want to have to move this stone. And I can see a little bit of it under there. Okay. I conquered it. <laughs> We're gonna move over here. And I'll move you along with me. Somebody would have told me I'd have been doing this last year, I would have said, you're crazy. This is like a diary in a video.
This is right outside the uh, master bedroom, looking at the back fence here. That first section was the side, a side view if I'm on my bed. Somebody would have told me I'd have had all this dirt after we yanked everything out. For so long, I would have said, no way. But that's why I use these old stones as pathways, at least when I'm walking. Not having to, not having to walk on the dirt, usually. start to look cleaner you know to me it's like looking at a rug with a bunch of looking at a dark rug with a bunch of stuff on it and then you gotta pull out the vacuum cleaner so here we go So, my bucket's almost full. I'm going to empty it. And now, I don't think you want to see any more of this, so we'll see what happens as the day progresses. Okay. I am back. You know, I wanted to tell you, if you have a little stool and you can squat like I did, and then you also have one of those long uh, cushions to put under your knees, you've got three ways to work in the yard so you kind of work in different parts of your body. But I wanted to show you that my Purselena, the thing that I put in my food, is growing very nicely. Hold on. So I've got a lot of Purselene growing over here. Looks like a nice ground cover. As a matter of fact, I might even just get a uh, push lawnmower and keep it low. But all these things will come out. Anything that doesn't look like purslane. <laughs> so, here we go. You know, getting up on your knees is really good for your behind. Yep, just like that. So I threw in what I ate this morning and showed you what it was. Uh, and so maybe for the next couple of weeks, I'll let you follow what I'm eating. Again, not all day, but uh, well, maybe we'll see how it goes. lemons falling out of my tree. And I don't do
do anything to this lemon tree. And it gives me lemons four times a year. I can only use so many lemons, so I give some away. And, uh, drink my lemon water in the morning. Sometimes even later on during the day. Never made a lemon meringue pie. Anybody out there made a lemon meringue pie? Okay, so I'll stop again for a little while so you don't have to go through this whole ordeal. Okay, gals, I wanted to show you this one weed that comes out really easy just pulling it with your hands. In case you have them in your yard, right now is a good time to pull them. They stand up tall the longer they get. Okay, girls, so I've done all I'm going to do today. Uh, got most of the weeds up there. Of course, the side yard has to have some weeding done. But uh, at least it looks nice and clean and tidy. I'll show you. And by the way, my hubby, my hubby came out and helped me too. Okay, so I did all of this all the way down to the end and uh, up against the fence. I'll do that section and this section possibly tomorrow. A little bit over here by my tree sculpture back there and I pretty much decided with the stones that I have left over I'm going to uh, build a little wall in the front yard under my living room window well I had a short wall under the living room uh, window before when we first moved in you know a stack stone I uh, don't know why I took it out, but I think it's going to go back in. And those big, big stones that you saw in my yard, uh, I'd like to make a walkway from my portico in the front of my house all the way to the sidewalk. But I got to do that when my husband's not home. Because <laughs> he says, no, no, no. But then when he sees that I've done it, he says, oh, that looks okay. <laughs> and along this section outside of the family room window, the side yards, I'll deal with another day. Still got a little cleanup left here. My little uh, makeshift patio with what was given to me, what I've had for a long time. And uh, that's my yard. It's still comfortable for me. Anyway, uh, there you have it. Oh, my poor lemon tree. Well, I can guess I can take that stick out now because I did prune that tree a lot. Alrighty. And so that's it for this video, gals. I'm all done, and I will see you another day, hopefully tomorrow, and uh, see what I have in store then. I don't really know. <laughs> stay warm, stay dry. Mwah. Love you. Bye-bye. Oh, and I can't forget, this is Connie Murphy, over 70, and still glamorous. Bye.